Welcome Leo to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Lunar signs. It is the uh, Christmas day, so Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a wonderful break and uh, yeah, get to treat yourself uh, with whatever you need to treat yourself with. All right, Leo, I'm going to dive into your reading. Um, I'm using the right away the giant deck amongst others. So, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for uh, staying with me throughout the year. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, Sarah Come Shuffle today. If this resonates with you, especially. I'll be looking into, <clears throat> sorry, I'll be looking into your situation, your person <clears throat> that is showing up in your reading. I will just be reading the cards as they come up, basically, and uh, I don't really have an agenda. So usually the collective messages will show up. Also check out your uh, moon rising Venus sign, perhaps, for additional love and messages. I would suggest definitely your moon sign. All right, I am done shuffling. Let's just dive into your reading, shall we, Leo? And see what is in store for you end of December. And of course, it will also stretch into the beginning of January in 2024. All right, Leo. So perhaps you've had a breather. This is also the four of uh, sword is it card of uh, getting some rejuvenation maybe a resting sometimes we don't always choose to rest we are forced to rest right uh, that's the world of today often uh, you might have really pushed yourself to the maximum and you really need a breather when it comes to a person I see that you and this person you could have disconnected in the current, you might not feel or see how you can reconnect with this person. Uh, it seemed that everything has stagnated. It seemed that it's not possible, but because you had the Ace of Wands in the fall here, Leo, both of you are actually starting a new chapter. That means your frequency and your energy is going to be on a wavelength. So that is quite important, regardless if that's to take a leap of faith towards you or you to take a leap of faith towards them. It's more to do with a fresh energy. So if you want to reconnect with someone uh, in the near future, it could be the time. But you have your own uh, kind of concerns. I see uh, Leo, again, one moment you feel ready to and like you know where you're going the next minute you were just saying oh I don't know so you could have had a bumpy road it might be just in your day-to-day -day in general perhaps you felt that things did not go your way perhaps you felt there's something about your thoughts um you wanting things to move forward and then feeling restricted not uh like there is a frustrating period but We've, uh, we're we also in Mercury retrograde, so it's a very sort of agitated type of energy. So even if you want to move fast and you have the right energy, that could be the world surroundings is preventing you to move as fast as you desire. Uh, but it says here, use that time to kind of sit back, relax, uh, let the energy flow. Now, you might be dealing with an energy here, Leo, that uh, is an earth sign, uh, I'm also picking up that if you have been in a relationship where there is a, well, a fixed relationship, a marriage, um, or with someone that have or are in a marriage, it looks like that could be coming to an end. There is a current tower moment that is happening um, and that's going to release these burdens. Now, this could be because your person is releasing themselves from a situation and they haven't taken any action. So with the Four of Cups, this person could have invested, stay put, you haven't heard from this person, they seem like they don't care. This person, it's a kind of a lazy card or just not 
thinking that they can do anything about a situation at all when they can. So that is changing. This is someone that's saying, well, all I can do is just, you know, they could be focused on one thing and then feeling stuck, right? And because this person is not doing anything at all, it also made you feel stuck. Just, <laughs> it's a frustrating energy. You want things to move forward, but you don't understand why um, this person has to be so stubborn, perhaps. They're, they could definitely have Earth in their chart. Aries, um, maybe they also have Leo placements. All right, so I'm going to look into this person's energy. Now, see, when, they, when I say lazy, they, this person likes to have the kind of good life around them. So comfort, but comfort of their own home, perhaps, or comfort of a home they're used to. And they're just putting the bare minimum. Bare minimum, it's like, it's okay, but they aren't thriving or anything like that. But they're okay with it. So that sort of, yeah, it has not... Uh, you know, that's just not given them a new beginning. But the action now is to go towards their wish fulfillment. So, um, they're saying, well, I can't, I can't see it here anymore. I don't want to be in the seven of pentacles. I mean, I'm putting an effort in there. It's, it's as if someone is in a job they don't like in a, a relationship they don't like. It's just not, <clears throat> they could might as well be somewhere else. It's not uh, making them progress. Um, but they have built some strength as well. I mean, they have the courage, so they don't really have to be in the situation. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Uh, again, this is someone's very slow to move, make a move as well. Um, this person might have someone around them that they, it's like they don't want to argue with this person or they don't want to any confrontation. So they're just sitting tight, but realizing now it's better to take the argument, better to move forward and, and do take you know pluck up their courage um to to do something because otherwise they are wasting time they could lose out on an important connection with you if they don't take any action and it's their wish fulfillment they're not taking action towards and they're also sort of saying oh you know the, it's very fickle the their energy in a way of how they're investing is just like existing not living so um, maybe this person finally will step out of tradition, right? Maybe they're finally, uh, they are also confronting someone they might have built a home with and there will be a confrontation, but it's more action having the confrontation and stress around it than sitting put and not doing anything at all. They are also worried that um, this person is coming towards you. They are worried that, again, you are cold towards them. You will ignore them. Um, again, that they will feel that anxiety that they should have just stayed put as well. But again, they are taking action, which, which is going to bring an outcome regardless. With the Eight of Pentacles, perhaps this person... I, I see that they are studying, learning something new that's going to give them confidence. This person could be a, a kind of outdated mindset in a way of saying, well, I, you know, I'm too old to learn this or something like that. So they are breaking free from this cycle of not acting, not taking action, thinking that, well, what well, they can't really do anything because they are stuck in a situation, right? They're following their intuition as well. They're inner knowing to, to move towards you. Now, I see this person, there's something to do with, they get anxiety and stress, they, are, they have fear, but it, that's why they've been one foot in the door. But now in their environment, they're gaining some strength, they have more finances. I see this person here, they're wanting to move forward now, they are moving forward. Actually, the action that they are going to take, they think it's, in, it's going to be unsuccessful and insignificant, but it's not going to, it's actually going to be positive. So. This person moving towards you, either you might be hoping they're coming towards you, giving up on them, but I do see it's going to be successful. Uh, that's my intuition here. Um, it's it's that, okay, um, being stuck one foot in the door, but where, where do I have the one foot in the door? Why put the burdens? They shouldn't be there, right? It's kind of getting bored of not doing anything as well. It's like, why? No one... <laughs> no one cares or kind of it's that it only affects the person that isn't taking action that's the only person that is suffering and 
so so someone that is very stubborn they are going to to make a change they are they can't deny the connection they have with you they can't deny right they can't sit and dwell for for ages because you know they got to move forward so so i see someone connect, uh, connecting with you it could be quite a shock to you and uh, again because in your intentions the seven of sorry the nine of swords um you might also have a legal matter there might be something around you that you are waiting for an answer that you know you have to put some papers in obviously there is a tax year for many as well it could be it could be some worry there that has not to do with uh, love a leo So that's, um, you, you're trying to overcome something by doing something, well, right, but you're a little nervous and it's um, difficult as well at the same time. So so there could be some stress, sleepless nights, um, but it's, again, you have the situation, if you don't do anything, you just get stuck in your head. Uh, it's as if you don't look at the situation, it's what, then you might feel it's, sorry, you think it's worse than it is than when you look at it, basically. So um the thought process, the anxious thought process is oftentimes worse, but, you know, not always. It depends on the situation. But, um, see, um, also, someone is holding on to you, right? Holding on to a future with you as well. So both of you might have Earth in your chart, but I do see Virgo. Maybe you have that in your chart or you're born on the cusp of Virgo. If someone is going to reach out to you. They are going to take action. You might be ice cold towards them. I see Libra energy here. So either this is a Libra coming towards you. Maybe you have Libra in your chart, but the Libra might be coming towards you. Maybe they have Aries, Pisces, um, Taurus in their chart. When they reach out to you because they're taking action because of the spiritual connection, again, wanting to get together and you might be, your first reaction might be like, no way. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's also like, oh no, this could bring, this could bring trauma, but past trauma or something like that as well. Like it could spring up on you uh, when you're not prepared, Leo. Um I see here that you're closed off to them. You are have your guards up, but then and you have walked away from them emotionally. You are staying put. You're staying true to yourself. But this connection here, uh, there is something happening in your love life that it's it's moving faster than you thought. It could be sprung up on you. It's it's something like that because in your environment there is someone. So if you are in a relationship, you are keeping your guards up, um, and uh, you could have also stayed in this relationship for a long time. And there is fair illusions, not equal give and take, right? There is something like that, and this person could be wanting to strengthen their relationship. It can be also someone. Uh, on another perspective, someone that is coming towards you, Leo, that is offering you a relationship, but you think that that is just a crazy suggestion because they haven't revealed the truth or they're coming out of the blue. There is a lot of burdens. You don't see how you and them can fix this. You see that it's, it will be like it's a long term healing process and, and how you get back together is not the way they want to get back together. It's something like that. Like they have not taken action. Right. And maybe just sat in a meditative, meditative state uh, and, and, and simply just been stalling. But you, Leo, you have gone through some kind of agony, been left in the dark, felt sort of. OK, just working on removing your feelings from this person, trying to do what's right and uh, gone through like a stressful situation. And when this person just shows up out of the blue, suggesting that you just start um, a relationship over, like that could trigger you to be angry as well, because that you would not expect this person to approach you in that way. And it, for you, it feels like they just come into your life and just ignore all the the issues that's that's how you look at it that you have a different love language different type of communication maybe you are from two different cultures as well so it could also be that you have tried to reconcile with them before you have tried to talk to them in your way or fix something and then they just turned you their back ignored you that has made you suffer that has made you left in the dark they don't see that it's something to do with your communication or no communication here as well not listening to the other person's um, concerns and worries or just a completely different way of speaking. Um, 
but no communication, right? Not the right communication. It's just causing stress and confusion because how you see this person is that they are playing games with you and there's something about that, even though it, in their world, they aren't playing games, right? So it is, um, yeah, it's something. Well, uh, I'm going to clarify. So and you have gained this clarity or wisdom you've been stuck in your head and you decide okay i'm just going to walk away from the situation and uh, just as you walk away someone comes back into your life offering you a relationship they have been thinking about it they are finding out information they want to have go from an immature relationship to a mature relationship but the thing is that this person in the past there was a very toxic ending there was a harmful situation as well someone could have really done excess of uh, any kind of you know addiction uh, drugs alcohol you know you name it uh, that kind, kind of addiction sex addiction gambling anything that is also that could be personality you know something that brought uh, um brought the the low uh, morale into this this connection right and 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 just disappeared from the connection or even claiming that someone doesn't have anything to to do with like why that happened because it like this could be someone as well that is like oh no of course it has nothing to do with that it's just you have a different way of understanding something that's obvious to you is not obvious to them and that is frustrating so this person is just someone that could think of, well, you know, as long as I have a, a nice wine and dine for my dinner and, you know, I, I'll have an entertainment around me. I have a lot of friends, but then a lot of their friends could be really toxic and it's actually, they're not really uh, in a healthy place and stuff like that. Like their views on a healthy life or their views on how life should be, or it's very different to yours. But again, you have a strong connection at the same time, but you are, your culture is very different, it seems to me. Um, so you could be from different parts of the world, or even if it's not you, uh, it's something about your heritage as well. Um, again, you know, it's been, it's been like a much needed time for yourself as well, Leo. It's like, you could have been burned out. It's important again, to not underestimate the value of a rest. So a person here writes, Leo, this person got a Capricorn in their chart. When you met them, this person is like, Again, it was a lot of adrenaline, a lot of fun, a lot of madness in a way. Fun, madness, playfulness, right? It was kind of, you know, you could have met this person when you, you were very young as well. Um, again, this person is going through changes, but very slowly too. Um, and, 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 and as you are maybe choosing a different path when it comes to just lifestyle uh, in general, this person just is, is on a different path. But Nevertheless, they are coming towards you. Now you felt that you've healed from them and you have also said, I don't want, you know, I'm, I'm moving forward. Like you kind of healed and got out of your head, then move forward, gone through the night, dark night of the soul. And then of course, this person shows up. So, so it is, you are, it could be shocking. You could be shocking because this person have just been nowhere to be seen. And now they want to start over. Now they're coming in to talk about the spiritual connection, right? So again, there is something to do with their strategy. I, I do feel I also have a queen of wands in reverse. I saw in the corner of my eye when I opened the, the card here. So someone here is using manipulation. Maybe they have psychic uh, or like there yeah, can be a medium or they can have something to do with like projecting energies, but they can abuse it as well. Um, you know, they can do abuse their charisma as well to get what they want. And they are using it between charisma and um, like lust perhaps, uh, but like they're just, just to get the attention and then they could be very harsh with their words, right? Um, it's going to be a Tara moment here. Um, it's a, a change. I think you are the one that's going to make the change. Leo, uh, I think you are, yeah, you are sort of saying, uh, okay, 
I need to do something here. For some of you, there has been a hidden, something hidden about someone's infidelity as well. It's, it's, it's been brushed on the table. There could also be that it's happened within a union and like as time went, because someone said, oh, you know, if we are not together, it doesn't count as if I cheated. So, but not realizing that this unconscious knowing and starting a new beginning, if even if it, it is a long time ago, not speaking the truth about the situation cannot give a, a a clean new beginning as well. So again, different way of seeing things as well, not understanding each other's pain, not understanding you know, wh where this fear comes from, especially if two people have been in a relationship and want to come back into a relationship that the, the truth is important, but someone could be abusing the truth like it's, it's saying, it's speaking truthful what they think about their opinion, but not revealing the whole truth what has also happened in the past that needs to be taken back out and addressed so yeah you might even decide here leo to move move on to a, a path of being single and you are really um i, I just see that you 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 feel that uh, you you want a clear like um how can i say it just a new beginning without any any obstacles you you are getting used to the idea um, of not moving back with this person or reconnecting with this person but it could be difficult the difficult decision you have to make because someone is definitely reaching out to you um, i feel this person again have strong taurus pisces also leo in their chart Mm. abusing psychic power could be getting tired readings trying to be ahead i don't know like whatever they're using things to their advantage they're using see here as well i think that um the truth will set something free but it also might bring a tire moment and an ending but it's needed nevertheless to start a new beginning you cannot because you cannot here start a new beginning based on avoiding the truth so leo for some of you i do also see that you could be dealing with a libra that is coming back from the past but that's the person that isn't telling the truth or this is where there is extended issues right um and there could also be a new person this new person have earth in their chart so you could have two people uh, in your life here and i feel that you are most likely moving forward with either with someone with um taurus in their chart taurus or or scorpio there is a new person um around you leo that is coming in and at first you are very much focused on a specific person. Uh, I think you're focused on also closure. Uh, you aren't sure as well. The truth will come out regardless. It is important here to address the truth. Some, someone did something in the past and it has to do with addiction, right? Uh, and the relationship is over. So, if, if there is a truth, Leo, either towards them or them to you, if there is a truth here, yeah, it's going to come out. And someone might not think it is necessary to tell it because they might have done something, again, based on addiction. And they're like, of course, I wouldn't do that when I didn't have, or if I didn't have the addiction, right? But they done it. So, so again, that will be their way, like how they will start their healing process. So regardless of two people like moving forward or not it's essential that the truth will be brought out a truth look it looks like it will be coming to the surface with the moon card it's going to the surface maybe you haven't been wanting to hear the truth or maybe you didn't want to tell the truth something like that but something about the truth will bring bring about some stress but the situation will be set free. It's it's needed. That the not knowing the truth, not addressing it, is pain more causing more pain than not. Basically, so it's going to be a liberating. You might have Pisces in your chart, by the way. 
it's going to be a liberated feeling to know because it's going to, it's something about understanding why you felt a certain way. You're understanding why things went a certain way. Maybe you understand why you have been stuck on someone as well. A soulmate connection that caused you stress and anxiety, but this person felt like home and you didn't want to let this person go. Now, it might be so here that you will let them go for now when the truth is coming out or learning something about the situation, but it is needed. Uh, it's needed to have a revelation here, uh, for sure. It's going to make all the difference. But I feel here, it, it's a person that you've dealt with, um, Leo, that did something they think doesn't matter. And either you will find this out through dreams, perhaps, or you're already quite close to finding out. Maybe someone will tell you the truth that isn't them as well. Maybe you will uh, visit uh, quite a few, uh, you know, psychics, if so, to get information and somehow you will find all the information you require to make your own decision about a situation, to understand what's happened and to release these uh, trapped, you know, trapped thoughts or feeling stuck about something not moving forward this will come to light um which will yeah again <laughs> set you free I've, I've, i'm sensing um a relief being kept in the dark um yeah it's it's made you kind of question a lot of things that yes yeah, put you under stress Mm -hmm. Someone with Pisces in their chart might come towards you again here, uh, whether you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a male here, this is someone that could either Capricorn or fire sign. And this person is younger than you. If you are dealing with a female, this person could be a little older than you. Again, using manipulation to get what they want. Um, acting like they're single when they're not, juggling here. The truth will come out. The truth will definitely come out. I'm also seeing here a forward movement, um, Leo. I, I definitely see forward movement here. I see um, I see you moving, like the, the release uh, of, just finding out the truth. I'm just getting here. You could be moving towards an Aquarius or a Leo. I'm getting as well. Um, the truth will set you free. It will clear this kind of uncertainty. What on earth went on here? Because it's a, a spiritual connection. Um, someone is trying to... You have options, uh, Leo. Someone is trying to um, impress you. Mm. Maybe this person is coming towards you. Someone doesn't have much money here. Uh, it says, you know, keep them, keep them on an arm's length. Um, it it looks like Leo. Uh, the best that you can do it is to address a truth that it, it keeps repeating. If some of you want to um, strengthen a relationship with someone, uh, and you know that it's a truth in the way, there's a difficult conversation difficult something difficult in the way uh, it it needs to be set free here and um, because moving away from let's say trying trying to, to go towards other options or then you could bring that baggage with you it's just something here that is kind of eating up the situation it could be eating you up as well just just like you need to know what this person is what you know what did i do last summer it's it's about how you can trust someone in the future either way if you move forward with someone else it's almost like you could attract someone that acts the same here with a with the moon and the knight of um, cups and the nine of wands it's like because if you keep keep like holding your guards up moving into a new situation you will be very sensitive because you haven't got closure about the other situation there's very strong connection here it requires extensive healing um and kind of not speaking to this person will make matters worse uh, i think that 
this is a twin flame union it feels like to me it had a future potential um again for some of you you're even in a relationship it's a lot of deep love there and very like strong connection feeling these telepathic connection as well feeling like you are each other's home so again you know two people might want to be together but if one person blaming the other and so on it's something about it that's not good it's about uh, almost saying okay what hurt you or someone needs to say what they did it, it is about the truth here lack of communication uh, and not knowing, not knowing a lot of things uh, is, is just going to make matters uh, a lot worse uh, for sure. It, I'm also getting a message saying that um, a difficult decision uh, and the truth, even if it's bad, is, is much better than not because that is just not bringing about any healing at all. So it could, I'm picking up someone here could be very young, uh, maybe like early 20 or 20s or something and thinking that, ah, uh, you know, um, I don't feel guilty about something, I don't care, like it doesn't matter, uh, but it's actually going to ruin someone's life uh, not to tell the truth, right? So it's important to think about it. Uh, it's that, okay, regardless I'm going to be with this person or not, uh, right? Uh, the telling the truth, what happened, even if it someone had a one night stand with someone they don't care about being in a relationship after that, not telling someone about that, it's, you know, uh, it's, that's something that another person will observe. So so I see that someone here did that. They did exactly that. Then just lied, continue to lying, feeling anxi anxiety, but it's affecting them actually emotionally in a way of them sort of becoming complacent, but they know they are trying to swallow a, a lie that they claim that isn't irrelevant, right? Because they might get, it's something about not being stubborn about not getting accused about something. So it's that, uh, but still trying to move forward in a relationship, thinking that, well, if we had time apart, I know I want to be with Leo. So I don't have to say anything now because now the truth is so old. There is something here that it says, regardless, uh, this union is so um, spiritual that if, the truth isn't told, there will be a consequence and cause and there will be bad karma and it's not worth it. So yeah, that's the message that keep, <laughs> keeps repeating here. So Leo, these are the messages for you. Please like, subscribe, share the video and uh, Merry, Merry Christmas.